Welcome to Drip Depot Irrigation Basics. My name is Adam. Today, we're with a veritable giant in the irrigation industry, Ed Powers from Irritech. Ed is here to show us the proper way to install Connecto fittings to PVC pipe using a grommet. He will also demonstrate how to connect Irritech's speed riser tubing to Connecto fittings. We are going to go over the correct installation of Irritech grommets, the 700 series grommet, and the 825 grommet. With installation of each one of these grommets, you need to use the EarTech drill bit that you will get with it. The 700 series drill bit and the 825 drill bit, drill bits are very specific to the grommet size. On the drill bit, you can find on the stem of the drill bit, it's gonna tell you the size that you're looking for. It will tell you right here the 25, which represents the 825. And then same thing for the 700, it will say 19 millimeter there, which is the 19 millimeter drill bit that goes with the 700 series. When you're drilling out on your PVC, know that the thicker the schedule of your PVC, the more you're gonna to have to press the grommet in. A class 125 PVC will flex a little bit, makes it easier to pop the grommet in. A schedule 40 PVC thicker will make you muscle the grommet in a little bit more. We'd like you to have your drill bit set on the slowest setting that it can be. As we drill, we want to drill slower, slower, so the heat has its ability to move out away from the PVC. If we drill too fast, the heat will concentrate and tend to want to crack or shatter our hull. It just sits right there. It's just self-tapping in. The drill bit is set, as you can hear, it has a shoulder, so it will bottom itself out and not allow itself to go any deeper, possibly going through and compromising the pipe underneath. And then just back side out, you don't have to put it in reverse. Okay, so you have a nice clean hole here. Take your extra shavings out. The majority of the shavings will come out. There will be a little bit of shavings left in there. Not much. So make sure your hole's clean. Now with the drill bit, it's going to give you a nice smooth hole. One benefit of using the drill bit. The tolerance is going to be exactly for what the 700 series is looking for. Now to properly install it. Mostly it's a rubber grommet with a, with a plastic fitting. There's a lot of bite there. So what we'd like to do is take a little bit of soapy water. Okay or if you have gasket, a pipe that you're gasketing together and you have the gasket lubrication, stick a little bit of lube down in there, that's fine. You can feel how tight the tolerance is, it goes in. And so right now I have a socket spigot, a three quarter inch pipe socket by one inch spigot. So to show you the leverage point, I'm gonna put a small piece of three quarter inch in here, which you might already have set and glued in and then you're just gonna stab it in and it comes up, or it could be flexible IPS here. On the installation of this, we never want to turn it because what will happen is it will turn this rubber gasket inside this nice sharp line and cut our rubber, ga rubber gasket. Therefore, we will have a leak. We don't wanna rock it back and forth. Same thing will happen. Press against the side, press against the side, press against the side. The actual side of the PVC has the ability to cut into it. We just want to put it at a slight angle and with it being lube like that, it should pop. And you'll hear it pop. Hear that pop? That's exactly what it is. So if you looked inside here, you can see it gone all the way down through. It's pressed the gasket a little bit out and then the shoulders the shoulders of the fitting are inside the pipe on the, on the outside edge of it. So it's very much secured it down. It's good for about 70 PSI and it's a very nice tight wire drop fitting. We also make the exact same setup in a Connecto fitting um, for our speed risers. Same thing as the 700 series barb. Lubricate your unit a little bit. This helps a lot 
especially the colder it is outside when you're doing it, the more you're gonna to wanna to lubricate it. At a slight angle, push it in and rotate it forward. I did this in Schedule 40 pipe, which is the toughest pipe to do it in. Anytime you can already have your pipe installed on it, you can use that as a leverage point to set it in at a slight angle, push it, push it, and it should snap in. You should hear that snapping sound every time. So now we're gonna go over our speed riser connecto fitting. It's a very popular way of doing this. So our tubing is a speed riser. It is specific outside diameter to the connecto fitting. It is not IPS, meaning this is not the same outside diameter as this. So it will never work in the application of any of this. They do not fit, they're not the same. It's not three quarter inch pipe. So this is specifically made for this. The correct application of this, it's a two step process. Inside of here, we have a gasket and below the gasket is another half inch or so that the pipe has to push down to. When we first push in, we normally hit the gasket then we give it a second push and we bottom it out all the way into the bottom of the fitting. The fitting will come to you hand tight. You're going to want to give it a 360 degree revolution like that. And then on your tubing, look for your tubing and find the mark where it says hide mark. It could also be just a, a nice mark around there. The depth of what you put this tubing into the fitting is you're going to cover up that mark or be right at that mark. First push, now I just touch that gasket that I talked about. There's that half inch that I still have to overcome. Bam, and my mark's gone. A very important point, with this fitting, it's only hand tight. Now it's hand tight, as tight as you can tighten it by hand. Never put a wrench on this. The reason why is, it's a tapered fitting right here. As you drive this nut further down, if you do it too hard, you can crack this fitting right here. Therefore, it will leak on you. And a wrench can do that. So only hand tight it. Hand tighten it as tight as you can, but only hand tight this. And that's it. You have a, a non-gluable, no gluing here, joint that is watertight. This specific right here is probably good to over 100 PSI. There's no issues with expansion from heat, let's say if we had static flow pressure against this, where we were, we had a, a solid, uh, we had static pressure, it was charged with water. And it was in a hundred degree day in the sun, and the sun hit this polypropylene product, it would normally, in the old days, with the products that were made, it would expand it. This does not do that. So it's a great application for when you're coming out of the ground, and coming up into a dripper line for an orchard or a vineyard, something like that. This is a fantastic application. This is Irtex Connecto 25 with Speed Riser. Thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you at www.dripdepot.com. If you have any questions or comments, comment below or reach out to us on our website. We'd love to hear from you and learn from your feedback.